Hi and welcome to YouTube. I'm Hannah Foster here with even more of the best local music acts in the area. Coming up this week we have Deep Sleep, Craig Quinn and Idle Violet all ready to perform for us here. <laughs> She said I'm not addicted But your seventeens went far too quick You know I'm addicted Tonight She said I gotta go soon Well I gotta go but it's not right Cause babe I need to see you Tonight Tonight, she's after light. She said she liked the summer, but a summer always went too quick. She said, Let's make summer. Tonight, I said I gotta go soon. Well, I gotta go, but it's not right. Cause babe, I need to see you. Tonight, and I know that you're not too empty. I know that you're not too hard inside. Honey, can I see you? Tonight, and I know that you're not too empty. I know that you're not too hard inside. Honey, can I see you? Tonight, she's after light. She sees my face before it's after dark And oh, I know Your sunset skin won't stay young too long She sees my face before it's after dark And I know that you're not too empty I know that you're not too hard inside Honey, can I see you tonight? And I know that you're not too empty. I know that you're not too hard inside. Honey, can I see you tonight? She's after life. She's after life. Thanks. Cheers. Amazing performance from Deep Sleep, opening the show with their song After Light. You can find them on Facebook, just search deep.sleep. We'll be hearing from them again later on in the show, but up next we have Craig Quinn performing James Bay, Hold Back the River. Try 
Next up we have Idle Violet ready to perform their track Break Out the Crazies. Sight restore, one lit a fire in the corner and the other two raw. And they dragged the farmer's wife to the choir beyond and I told her she was a key that in her two were more harm. Then I snap back, the Ronin's attack, we said fuck you ain't get out. We own this place, yeah. Farmer didn't lift, left the bombs and love. Can I fulfill this side of me?
more from Idle Violet. As promised, we're going to go back to deep sleep and they're ready to perform their song, 1994. You're 21 and you're drunk off a of fiver She said, babe, you better run Or he'll get you with his gun You know she's gone You know she's gone You wait behind while I crawl to the taxi Drunker than I am and you're getting nasty She said, babe, you better run Or he'll get you with his gun You know she's gone You know she's gone But despite all her flaws from the windows and walls she drinks and she falls, she's from 1994 She's from 1994 She's from 1994 She's from 1994 Tell me I'm young but your mate's looking tired She said, baby, you better run Or he'll get you with his gun You know she's gone You know she's gone Tell you I love you, but you're never listening. Tell you I want you, but it's not convincing. She said, Baby, better run, or he'll get you with his gun. You know she's gone. You know she's gone. By all her flaws from the windows and walls She drinks and she falls She's from 1994 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 Fantastic performance by Deep Sleep there. We still have Idle Violet here with us with two songs, Fuzz and Gunslinger. So we're joined here now by Deep Sleep. How are you guys? Very good, thank you. Yeah, we're doing good. How are you? I'm good. Now, if you'd like to introduce yourself and say what you do in the band. My name's Dan, and I do guitar and I sing. And I'm Ben, and I just play guitar. Yeah. Now, for anyone who hasn't heard your music before, how would you describe it yourselves? I don't know. Romantic, innit? I just talk about girls, me. Like, it, like genre and that. Oh, like, I don't know. It sounds quite pretentious if you talk, like, it's indie, innit? But... Uh, yeah, I think it's like quite indie pop, quite new wave, sort of. We just sort of do what we want, really. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any influences when it comes to your music? Oh, loads. Like, f like from artists or just general? Because like, I'm, I'm dead into the idea of, like, you know, like 80s films. And, like, at the end of a John Hughes movie, like, 16 Candles and that. And uh, when they're all at prom and they're dancing to that one band. And they're all, like, falling in love to it and that. I love that. I want that. Now, um, you are quite a new band. Uh, how did you guys get together? We just, 
I don't know, like... We just sort of stumbled backwards into each other, Yeah, I think so, apart from our basis, like... Because we're only, like, half of the band, but our basis, we just picked up in a bar. Like, he was... Uh, our drummer reckons that uh, he was just chatting on to some girls or something, saying that he played bass, and our drummer just went behind him and just went, so, you in a band now? <laughs> and that was it. No, he's uh, going into the studio to record some stuff. Uh, how are you feeling about that? Good, I think. I, d- I don't know, like, I've never recorded much apart from, like, on my laptop and that. Like, I put an EP out, like, solo on my laptop, so I've never actually been in a proper recording studio. But, like, Ben, you have. Yeah. <laughs> um, it wasn't the best experience the uh, last time I went to record, so I'm just hoping this one's going to be a bit better. I mean, like, the songs are better, so well, I don't see why not. Now, when it comes to writing your songs, what's the writing process like in the band? Wait, Dan just comes to it with a song. In a, he's just got all the parts normally, and then we just do it one over the top. Yeah. See what it sounds like. Just go from there, really. I think I like, I think I like, draw it in pencil and then they just paint it. Like Ben does all the technical <laughs> stuff. I only know four chords, mate. <laughs> <laughs> four chords and how to write some stuff. What are you hoping for from the recording process? Are you just wanting a single, an EP? I think both eventually. Like, mm. I think we're releasing um, our first song, Afterlight, um, I think like sometime in July. We haven't got like a set date yet. So I think it just depends on like production mm. quality and things like that. And then I think we're keeping the rest back for like, I want to say maybe it's an August, September release of like a full EP, something to like, give out at gigs and things like that. Now, you've got a massive gig coming up at the O2 Academy in Newcastle. How are you yeah. feeling for that? I feel good, me. Like, <laughs> I've always wanted to do a gig with Barriers because it's just like, when I was like growing up, well, I still am, but um, <laughs> like, when you always used to like, try and reach over the barrier to touch the band and that. Yeah. Again, I'm, I'm massively, massively nervous. Should be a laugh though. I think it'd be good, me. Get backstage areas and that. <laughs> Tea on draft. No, f- for your fifth gig, that is absolutely huge, getting to the academy. Have you started your preparations for the gig yet? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. I don't know, like, ha- no. do we ever prepare? <laughs> um, no, I mean, because we're on holiday, like, the week before as well. Oh, so yeah. there's literally no preparation time at all. Yeah, we, so get, we get back from holiday, happens. like, two days beforehand or something like that. So it'll just say, <laughs> it'll be a laugh. Now, you're going to be playing alongside Black Atom Movement. Are there any other local acts that you'd like to listen to yourselves? <gasps> Downtown Leicester Brown, like, massive shout out to them. They're so cool. Like, they're dead funky in that, and, like, just gets the crowd dancing and that, and I love that. But uh, my mate, who I went to school with, Joe Allen, he's, like, he's just a poet. I love him, me. I love how, like, that, like, lyrics. Like, I'm massively influenced by, like, Mike Skinner and things like that. Like, you know, A Grand Don't Come Free, that album. That was massive for me, like how it just tells a story. Like, I think his music does that, and I try to do that. Like, I love it, me. Well, thank you very much for coming in. Um, if anyone wants to follow you online, where can people find you? Um, Instagram, it's like, what's it? At. Is it at on Instagram? I think it's at. At uh, deep.sleepuk. Uh, Facebook, it's facebook.com forward slash deepsleepuk. And uh, I think that's it. I don't know. Have we got anything else? Uh, SoundCloud's the same as oh, yeah. Facebook. <laughs> the bits where it, people yeah. can listen to us. <laughs> music Glue. We've got oh a Music yeah, Glue. Music glue. Uh, music glue forward slash music glue dot com forward slash deep sleep or deep dot sleep. Whatever. They'll find it. <laughs> They're clever. Well, thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you for having us, Hannah.
We're joined here by Idle Violet. How are you guys? Very well. Awesome, thank you. We're pretty good. How are you? I'm good. Now, if you'd like to introduce yourselves and say what you do in the band. I am Mick. I play drums. I'm Rich and I play bass. I'm Joel and I'm the singer slash guitarist. Now, for anyone who hasn't heard your music before, how would you describe it yourselves? Um, uh, we're, uh, we're like grungy blues where we've got a lot skin. of influences so I think we're just a mix we just play whatever we like to play really but I'd say mostly grungy blues yeah we call ourselves jizz rock got to throw that in there we invented a genre have you got any influences as well yeah we um we all come together on the same page or like our, our, the same stuff but then we all have different influences as well I like punk he likes his metal Joel likes his pop Pop. Stop telling Kidding. people that I like pop music. <laughs> <laughs> you horrible man. <laughs> now, you've actually been recording recently. How's that been going? Yeah, it was it was awesome. Yeah, recorded in Newcastle in what's it called? First, First Avenue Avenue Studios. Yeah, yeah, it was a really good experience. Um, now, what's the writing process like when it comes to the band? We lock ourselves in a room, get the butter out. <laughs> And just uh, stay in there until we come out with the song, really. Sort of, uh, just jamming, really, till... Thank you, Joel. Just jamming, really, till we come up with something uh, that we like. That's pretty much it. Um, when can people expect a release from you guys? Over the next few months, I think it is. We've got um, a music video planned, an EP to be released as well. So stay tuned, and it'll be released soon. With a music video, three music videos, hopefully. Now, as you say, you're doing a music, vi three music videos. Like, what's the ideas behind that? What does it feel like to be doing music videos? It's very professional, and we're feeling very amateurish at the <laughs> moment because we don't know anything about uh, music production no. or music videos. So it's a learning process for all of us. It's like uh, just oh, thank you. just <laughs> shouting around loads of ideas and just trying to come up with. Got like lots of little ideas, but it's just trying to come up with something that's uh, put them all together or come up with an actual solid ideas the hard bit. Now as well as recording you've been doing quite a few gigs recently how's that been for you? It's been class we've been because um, Mickey actually only joined the band about six months ago so since then we've been getting as many gigs as we can get in and uh, we love it like some of the bands we've played with especially around Middlesbrough and Stockton things like that it's, it's been awesome. Yeah. Have you got a favourite gig that you have done recently? We got the Q-Bar gig in Stockton, where we did that with Bilingual. Oh, that was last year, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a completely different gig. We did one recently where we were supported by Red 16 and Mr. Treacle. It was awesome. Uh, that was really good. And we did one the other week at Whirling Dervish uh, with Bilingual and Mouses. It was also a class. Like, it was booting off of Bilingual, got the champagne out, squirting all the crowd and everything. It was awesome. Yeah, well, as you say, like names such as Bilingual and Mouses. Are there any other local acts that you'd like to listen to yourselves? Uh, there's like Red Light District, uh, Red Light District, <laughs> oh, I've been to Amsterdam too much, um, Dead Light District, they're like one band we've uh, played <laughs> a couple of times, uh, and they're awesome, and Mr. Treacle, yeah, Mr. Treacle in a band called Crease, so we've come having a gig with soon, aren't we? Yeah, they're like up and coming band, they've only been around a bit, but they're all like psychedelic and bluesy and stuff, they're, they're really good. <laughs> That's it for this season of YouTube, but don't worry, we will be back in September with more of your favourite local music acts. But first, here they are for our last performance on this week's show, performing their song Gunslinger, Idle Violets. To keep up to date with them, follow them on Twitter at Idle Violets. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>